Right guys, you join us in X Twistle, Burnley. And as you can see behind the Gary there, we are at the stunning Grade 2 listed X Twistle Hall, which was built in, uh, when was it built, Gary? 1585. 1585. Yeah. 1585. And uh, yeah, Grade 2 listed. What piqued me interest with this is the surroundings because as you've just seen from the intro it is absolutely stunning around here and uh, I've been wanting to do this now for about two years so here we are I think we're going to start off in this little barn area around here and then we'll work our way to the old hall and have a little uh, peek what remains inside We've not been out for a month or two, so it feels good to get back out here on the job, if you will. But if you look there, how stunning is that? On the job, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we've, uh, we've got a new suit in him now, anyway. We are the... Uh, the sticky bandits, because as you can see, <laughs> Gary <laughs> is a dead ringer for uh, for the dude out of Home Alone. Wow, look at that. Mother Nature reclaiming what is rightfully hers. If you look there, I think I'm going to get a photograph of that. I'll just zoom you in there. Look at that, guys. You can literally see, let's get you in focus, look at that, right out onto the moors, X twistle moors I believe. Yeah but you know me, I'm into me, I'm into me books and I'm into me film and I'm also a massive Kate Bush fan from me uh, I'm a Bush fan as well. From my ch childhood days. I love Kate's Bush. Uh, Kate Bush. <laughs> Especially when you're on the job. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, if anything could give you a little... Uh, well, you know, if anything could resemble what I'd imagine um, the old Wuthering Heights to look like, I think that definitely uh, definitely fits the picture, doesn't it? I've got Wuthering Heights going round in my head now. Love that song, don't you, Gary? I've got Kate Bush going round in my head. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, these are just uh, the surrounding uh, barns and whatnot, but there is like a it's not a creepy vibe, but when you're up here, so high up in the mountains and that, and the moors, it's, there's a certain, it's like tranquil, but eerie as well, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? There you go. Look at that, man. Yeah, I figured we'd do, we'd do something a little bit different for you which had a, a proper cinematic feel, you know. And we figured we'd get out anyway and breathe in some of that country cow dung. Look at the old slate things there on window. Mint that, innit? What is that? Electrics. Yeah, it's overworldly up here, it really is. 
and you just imagine guys just looking out there the fog creeping in over the moors yeah and the ghost of Cathy walking over for the bush <laughs> Yeah, it feels, uh, see some old chain up there, look at that. But it feels proper good to get out and do a proper, you know, this is uh, a fundamental, you know, what's the word for it, Gary? Like, uh, this is like a traditional explore, isn't it? You know, it's, it's old school, proper um, urban decay, isn't it, you know? Oh wow, look at that out there, guys. Just imagine that on a, on a foggy night. Absolutely stunning. I'm not sure. I've panned the camera around. I think I'll be able to tell where it is. We're talking about Pendle Hill, guys. If you see it at a point in the video, point it out for us, please. We're thinking of bobbing up there Halloween time to do a, a Halloween special, you know. You'll have to bear with me if it's a bit windy. I have got the wind muff on, but I don't know where. Don't know how good it is. Wow. How stunning is that? Absolutely incredible. If you look down there, there's a little tiny house surrounded by some uh, dry stone wall. I think Pendle Hill is uh, quite a dramatic drop on the, on the hill itself, isn't it? I'm sure it is. Are you going to get us some uh, cinematics for the video? Yeah. You got your badge on? Yeah. We'll look there. She's got the badge on. Lovely jubbly. Proper urban explorer she's going to be when she grows up. Oh, you are a DR one, aren't you? I know, she is. She's got better footage than me. Be careful, please, so you don't go flying. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, it is windy. I just hope this muff has uh, cut it out, you know what I mean? Just look at that, though, man. That is incredible. See the old tree there? Wow. We'll have to get a proper, nice cinematic opening for this one. I think we'll have a walk out onto that little bit of moor at the end of the video anyway and we'll take a little peek at the house from afar but I think we'll uh, have a look in this last little barn here and Gary I'm doing a beautiful tranquil video Wuthering Heights and you know we're in this beautiful countryside and you have to go and shit your pants it wasn't me it's disgusting, brother. It's following me on the wind, man. That is disgusting, mate. What have you eaten? <laughs> you think you can get over this one, Gary, or what? <laughs> Come on, son. Let's be having your... <laughs> Did that on purpose. Oh yeah, we believe you. <laughs> now just look at this guys, you imagine back in the day when this was, uh, you know, populated. Just looking up at that window there and there being a, a little light flickering away in the old, uh, the old days of the gas lamps and whatnot, you know. If you look here you can see the original gate post for it too. Yet it does have a eeriness. 
if you were going to shoot Wuthering Heights, if, if I was going to shoot it, I think this would be the gaff I'd use. There you go. Look at that. Wow. Now that is uh, a quality sight. If you look there, there's another old gate. Old iron one. Rusting away, but still standing. And you've got the outside of that barn there. Hey, I tell you what, Gary, the intro to this, mate, with visuals, it's going to be stunning. Is that an old telegraph pole? Yeah. See an old fallen telegraph pole there as well, look at that. I mean, we'll push on through the gate and see what remains inside of this old gaff. Wow, there is a otherworldly wind blowing through as we are uh, standing here within the grounds. Look at that, man. That really is stunning, isn't it? I think we'll push in this bottom way. It's almost like a, a whisper on the wind. It's quite creepy. If you look there, though, look at that. I wonder where that's from. That's actually um, iron, but carved out. You know, hand carved. Look at that. I wonder where that's fell off. Then. Where do you reckon that's come from? Up top. Jesus, look at the beams in there, Gary. Yeah, I heard on the grapevine that this place had, uh, well, apparently had about a couple of million lottery funding, but it seems. Jesus. Nothing has come of it. Oh, there was a fire here, was so. Why would you set this on fire, man? Just can't fathom it at all. Stunning. Look at that, you can see right up into the rafters there, guys. You up, pal? <laughs> Oh yeah, I can see hot sheep over there. If you look there, guys, you can see them all in that field. Mint. Oh, wow. Look at that, mate. That is stunning, that, isn't it? Jesus. Oh, the wind is so eerie. Really is a picturesque location, you know. Look at the stone, though. And all that's uh, hand carved back in the day. Absolutely incredible. Oh, hang on. What have we got there? Martin Collins, Josh Curry, Brad McDad, and oh, the old fuck packies. Lovely. Just what you'd expect to find out in X Twistle Hall, eh? Wonderful, uh, well thought out piece of graffiti. Another one there, Love Curry, Hate Packies. Fantastic. A very proud achievement for the artist, eh? <laughs> what a tool. I don't know where my going in places, but just look up for the big fucking water bank on your head. If you're looking here. Where? 
Oh my lord, look at that guys. So if you look up there. That is literally ready to fall down at any moment. But I mean, I couldn't call myself an urban explorer. Jesus Christ, if I didn't have a peek inside. Do not lean on the walls, Gary. This, this is it, this is a death trap. Look at that, guys. Wow. Yeah, I hope you can hear that little breeze blowing through, guys. It's, wow, look at that. It gives it. Eerie, otherworldly feel. Just look at that there. There's the old fireplace, mate. Look at that. And it looks stunning. Look at that in camera with light there. Couldn't that look mint? Looks top, mate. Yeah, I'm so glad we came up here. Just shine that torch on this fireplace, Gary. Yeah, shine my torch over there. Wow, look at that. Proper old school brick fireplace there. Eh? These are the ones I love because they feel like uh, time Colliers, something. Colliers, I think. Oh no, it's not very deep. It looked deep from the shadow. You can see it all, yeah. Just be quiet a minute, listen to that. It's literally like, I mean, look at this view here, guys, right there. You know I'm into me. Oh, look at that. Shine it on here, Gary, look. The old plug socket there, mate. Old school. But if you look at that view there, guys, with the old stone windows, how incredible does that look? And then, as you zoom out, you can see right out onto the moors. It's a proper whispering wind, isn't it? You know, like in the in the movies. Yeah. I want you to stand on that. Can yeah, you I know, I know. I think track. there's, yeah, I think there is a big hole underneath Booby that, guys. Track, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that. Oh, that is incredible, that. I should have put my uh, ND filter on. Can't believe I forgot it. Let's push through this next bit. Uh, huh, no way, yeah, look at that. The old wardrobe. Jesus, look at this, got it. Look at that, guys, it's literally all caved in. But if you look on the wall, you can see, look at that, mate, the old coat hanger rack. See what the old door frames were like. Grade two listed, beautiful building like this. Look at that. Three floors as well, and some complete idiot has just decided to come and set it on fire. I suppose for the aesthetic I'm going for for the video though. It's gonna, uh, hey up. It's gonna suit it to a T, innit, brother? 
Jesus Christ, look at that, man. Wow. Absolutely stunning. You can see the old leaded windows there as well, look at that. Wow. Proper this, isn't it? Oh wow, yeah, look at that, you can see the old window frame. Look at that. Clinging on for daylight. Yeah, this is the type of gaff flow where you come in at night on your building. It's... Looks alright if it's one Yeah. If you believe in that sort Well, of we thing. have heard many stories that it is haunted, but... If you believe in it, aren't it? That's up to you guys to decide. Whether we uh, see the ghost of Heathcliff creeping about in the background. But I think um, I think that's pretty much it, really. In here. If you look there, there's an old uh, old sink as well. I mean, how would they have built this back then? 1500s, mate. Oh, All this stone carved by hand. Incredible. It's literally, I don't think they're going to save this. They could if they could. I know. Oh, there's another thing where there would have been a fireplace. Perhaps that could be to a basement. Mm. I'm not risking it though. Look at that. Look at ceiling, mate. It's literally stupidity, even attempting it. If you look there, though, you can see. The old hinge for the front door. Oh. I hope that wind's alright guys. It's not muffling my camera too much. Oh look at that. Look at that guys. Just studying it. <laughs> Said it's a good job it's my car and not his. Cheers, bruv. Jesus Christ, look at that, Gary. It? it goes right down. Is it a well? Not a well, is it? Mate, there's water in it. Oh, well, that torch yeah, is much use, rubbish, isn't it? Rubbish, that. That goes right down into the ground, but if I just show you there, guys, this is perhaps one of my favourite shots. You can see the old wall there. And as we spin you around, just look at that, man. Absolutely stunning. Just imagine a face there at that window. Stunning, isn't it, man? It is. Like, you know, I love, like, um, urban inner city, urban decay and all that lot. You know, post-apocalyptic and stuff but this is uh, it's an Alfred Hitchcock place this isn't it do you know what I mean as the birds start tweeting couldn't have timed it better could you careful here mate because these are lethally slippy there we go oh mate look at that it's the old boiler. No way, man. Wow. Oh, look at these stairs here. Look at that, guys. Little winding staircase. This was per... Oh, my God. Look at the fireplace. I think this is the room, guys. Look at that fire. Imagine that going back in the day. Wow. Wow. That is absolutely stunning, that is. Look at that roof, though. It's ready to literally cave in at any point. But before it does, I'm going to take you over here and show you this little relic bathed in light. Look at that, man. What do we reckon, guys? Is that the old uh, 
or water heater or something like that. Let me know what you think, yeah. Bit of old, broken pottery there, I hope. We're still recording there. Just imagine that fire crackling away. The faint echoes of uh, people that once were. If you look there, there's a little bit of understairs storage. Perhaps that housed a few bottles of wine back in the day, eh? That's all there is to say now. Ah. The old X Swissel Hall. So we'll pop back out from <laughs> Look at that. Mother Nature's carpet. Now that is a vision. Absolutely incredible. Look at that beam. That's literally the trunk of a tree. It has warped over the years, but wind's getting heavy, isn't it, bruv? <laughs> you are disgusting, Gary. Absolutely disgusting. Oh yeah. Don't come behind me, bro. I, I hope you're dirty, you smell it. Go. I'm holding my breath. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at that little round window up there as well. Never noticed that one before. But yeah. Smart, innit? Yeah, it's stunning, mate. See some old, uh, old steps there, and then here's the original front entrance. Look at that. You can get a proper look at that little window there, and that window is the only one. The round one, that's the top one, that. Where the lead still hanging on, it's a full window, that still. But you can see all the foliage growing out of the guttering and whatnot, you know. Just imagine standing out here back in day though, all the fires lit inside, smoke coming out the chimney, nice and warm, all these grounds would have been stunning. Would have been another doorway there, straight up onto the second level. Yeah. I'd say second floor there, me. Yeah, I reckon so. Servants down in the basement. I believe it belonged to a family, I forget the name. Uh, Parker, was it, yeah? Possibly. And, uh, yeah, they owned the place for a while. Uh, if anyone knows a proper history on this place, then give us a shout. We wanna, we'd like to hear from you. If you look there, though, there is, uh, uh, there is access. I'm going to jump through this window. Uh, uh, 
a second, guys, because I'm going to fall. We are... Boom. We're in. Wow, look at that. That's just blown off, mate, that. But we can indeed. Yeah, access. Well, <laughs> part of the second floor. I don't think we'll be uh, going across that gap. If you look over there, though, there's another old fireplace. And then again, you can see a little bit of that third floor awaiting its demise. <laughs> Got a bit of ivy. Climbing through that top window. Yeah. I think that's pretty much it, guys. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. <laughs> the old tree. Wonder how long that's been there. I'm hoping to uh, get you a stunning. What is it? No way. A stunning little finale. And I think the shot that I'm about to capture will be perfect. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can. So that was built. Yeah, a little bit later, wasn't it? If you look here, guys, spin you around. Just look at that for a vision there, that tree, that is stunning, isn't it? But if we spin you around there, above the window that we'll be looking out of, you can see the old date stone. I think it's somebody's initials. Something. Ah, uh, some at P, yeah. Some rest in peace. R.I.P. Possibly. Possibly. But if you look here, guys. <laughs> How stunning does that look? Wow. R.T.P. I wonder if that's something to do with the Parker family, then. Yeah, just before we uh, before we do finish, if you listen here, guys, Gary found a bit of read it, a bit of uh, info on Wiki. century Tudor style owned by the Parker family who were prominent in local affairs Robert Parker bought the land in 1537 for the dissolution of monasteries the family had occupied for some 200 years before moving away and the uh, John Park was a high sheriff of Lancashire no way, man. Good, that. Great so so the go. land was bought from the monasteries? Yeah, whatever that means. Dissolution. Dissolution of the monasteries. Let us know what that is, guys. Dissolution of the monasteries. So, the RTP, Mr. Parker, must have had a middle name. Um, Dissolution of the monasteries. Yeah. Dissolution. Dissolution. Well, it's like a thingy, isn't it? It's like um, where we do the car meets up at the hall where they were persecuting Henry the VIII high priests and all that business or whatever, you know. So it's going to be something to do with that, isn't it? Possibly. But yeah, Mr. Robert Parker 
was the High Sheriff of Lancashire. How cool is that? You can see where it's fell into the earth, but I want to. Uh, I want to get a different, a true ending to the film because I have seen a shot on the way up here that I think is going to be quite incredible in an extremely beautiful cinematic. Oh, 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 oh mate, that's the shot. So as I spin you around now, we'll get the true ending. Now we know a little bit of the history about Mr. Parker. But just look at that for a vision. Absolutely stunning. Wuthering Heights. Take it easy, man. Peace.